Hey guys, this is SolRag333 with another review. And here I have the Transformers Masterpiece MP56 Trail Breaker. And the X Transbot Aegis. And the Fans Toys Outrider. You're getting a 3 for 1 video here. And I can already say it's going to be in two parts just because there's no way I'm gonna be able to transform these on or off camera <laughs> to do my smooth edits. Um, but yeah, I like, I like Trailbreaker. Um, I think he was my first Transformers toy growing up. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know if this is something I can ask my mom because I don't know if she remembers which figures I got first, maybe. Um, but somehow I feel like this was my first. Um, sadly, I don't have it. Um, but I've always liked that toy and the character and the vehicle. And uh, yeah. So. Let's go in the order in which I got them. And I got the X Transbot uh, a few years ago. I did not get the first version because I didn't like how that looked. And I think there were some QC issues. Um, and then when they did this one, which I think is more the, the tune uh, color, uh, I like this a whole lot better. And I think whatever QC issues it had, they were resolved. So I was happy to get this one. And uh, yeah, I really like this one. It rolls very nice. It feels heavy. Um, and it looks very cool. Um, you know, it looks very clean at the bottom here. Uh, I don't like how those look. You can see his head too. And I don't like how that looks either, but That's just nitpicky. Um, as cool as it is, this is this is a pain to transform. Um, it's whew, it's amazing how much compact everything is. I mean, this uh, it's a decent size toy, uh, but it transforms into a really tall robot. Um, the leg portion is very intricate. Um, and then, uh, you know, the front half is pretty cool. I mean, it, it, you can kind of figure out how things go, but the leg portion is very intricate and to the point where it's almost not fun. Um, I do like the car mode a lot more than the robot mode though. I mean, this is just really cool. Whoop. Then... I got the fans toys uh, last year and I had to think about it I already have the X Transbot and I liked it um, but there's things I did not like I do like fans toys um, they did price me out though I won't be getting a lot of fans toys moving forward unless I get it on clearance or on sale or if the price is already you know good enough um, this I thought was good enough I think it was actually cheaper than the official Masterpiece Trail Breaker, so that that made it easy to buy. And uh, I watched tons of videos reviewing both the uh, Aegis and Outrider, and yeah, I decided to buy it. My, now my only nitpick is the painted window in the back. Um, although the way it transforms, I'm not sure how that you know that could have been if that i don't think it would have been good if it had a clear window but this really cleans up nicely feels very big feels heavy very massive and also compact very clean nothing you don't see any kibbles in the window maybe a little bit there but nothing that would indicate this is a robot. Yeah, I really love this. 
um, color scheme. Like I, like I said, I think this is more tune accurate, but this looks like an automobile. I mean, this looks cool. Uh, hard to decide which one I like best. Both roll very smooth. Maybe the Fast Toys is a little bit smoother. Both are heavy, but I think the Fast Toys is a little bit heavier. Oops. Could find out right now. X Transbot. 11 ounces. Fans toys. Let's try this again. 11.6 ounces. Fans toys. 15.4 ounces. I don't know how much an ounce is, but you can definitely feel the difference. Now, if both figures were released at the same time, uh, and I had to pick one, I think I would pick the, X, the, the fans toys. That's my personal choice though, because I really like how this looks, even though as nice as this looks, I think I like the fan toys better. Now the MP56. Obviously, this is cartoon accurate, but it also has the Toyota logo. Now I have no idea what kind of vehicle this is exactly, um, but the fact that it has the logo right there is pretty cool. Um, this comes with uh, well, they all come with accessories, but I really don't care about accessories. Um, comes with a uh, blaster, a radar, two alternate heads. I could care less about the alternate heads. Um, you know, I'll say this. Packaging is nice and small. Here's the thing. It's windowless, but that looks very classy. I think if Hasbro really cared about the environment and wanted to, I don't know, save on plastic, this is how they should all come packaged. And every Transformers should come in the alt mode. Smaller packaging. You know? And make sure that the photo on the box is accurate to what's inside. Yeah. Yeah. As for the vehicle, uh, plastic wheels, the other two have rubber wheels. Um, I don't like how they're attached. It's like they're pinned onto this, I guess, rim. Which I guess, I don't know, just feels like a toy compared to the other two. Uh, it always, I guess it also comes with an alternate grill. Uh, if you want it to be cartoon accurate, you can swap it with the other one. I like the chrome finish, so I'm going to keep this on there. And... The hood pops open. I guess you could also open the door. But it feels light. This one is 6.9 ounces. This is almost double. This is almost triple. Now I think 
This one will be displayed on my masterpiece shelf. This one will just be set aside. Displayed somewhere else. Maybe I'll play with this one more. And I feel I might sell this one. I'll think about that though. Because I like all three. But I should definitely start thinking about trimming down my collection. So here they all are. Looking very cool. I think, I think, <coughs> excuse me, I think the only other uh, figures that I would think about getting multiples of um, are Shockwave and Jetfire. Um, I already have the Masterpiece Shockwave that you saw earlier and also the Quake Wave uh, Shockwave. Um, and, uh, uh, then I also have the Fans Toys Phoenix Jetfire, and I would like to get the Masterpiece one. Um, well, there they are. MP56 Aegis and Fans Toys Outrider. Thanks for watching, guys. Get ready for part two.